By yourself? No, based on my friends. Great. Great. How many? Uh, six. Nice. Six girls, three boys, three girls? Yeah. Which? Uh, three and three bobbits. <laughs> More interesting. Mm. But there are only one activity, two activity, I think, as most I like. Why is that paragliding? Is it that? Maybe. Mm. Another one. They, they, they are in the boat and they meet the four animals <coughs> and they just jump to the sea. Mm. Sounds good. Okay, now we have two people here, so we'll start. So, what we'll have a look at this morning are things called uh, Euclidean vectors. Now, we know about vectors in physics. So, what, what, what is a Euclidean Vector. So, this is a, a factor in physics. The problem with this, we don't like that we have to draw it. You know, it's kind of a problem. So what we can use instead, instead we can use points to define the vector. Example, when you write this, A, B, with an arrow on it. What this means is the vector drawn from A, which is the tail, to B, which is the head. So if I have a point here, A, B, C, D, for example. Then this vector here, that's AB. Yeah? This vector here, CC, CD, and DA. But also interesting, in this picture, I can see that AB is the same as DC. Because they're both, DC is this vector. They're both vectors that point up, same length, you know? Uh, so this is, you know, this is useful here. So this is kind of the idea behind Euclidean vector. Now, you don't need to write all of that down, but you should write something down, like at least the word Euclidean vector, and perhaps this will be good to write down. Got that? You got that? Yeah. yeah. So let's let's have a look at an example. I'll actually do question one here as an example. So draw a rectangle of base two and height one. Label each vertex A, B, C, D. Starting in the lower left. Well, Ben, what happened to you? Stomach ache. Okay. 
You're not feeling well. Did you cycle? Yeah. Okay. Uh, label each vertex A, B, C, D. Uh, starting in the lower left. Okay, so there's A, there's B, there's C, and there's D. And this side is two units. One unit, two units, uh, one unit there. Two, one like that. And the point in the middle here, uh, the middle of AB, we'll call that M. And N is the middle of BC. So we'll call that point up there N. Okay. And my question is, express each of the following in terms of AB and AD. So there's AB and there's AD. Okay, and the first one, as an example, is A. C. Now, what you can do with vectors, well, you know this from physics and maths, you can add them. So the vector A to C is the same as the vector A to B plus B to C. A to B is good. B to C is the same as A to D. That's the same as B to C. So the same vector, BC and AD. So what I've done, this isn't really a shot, I've said the vector AC is the same as 1AD plus 1AB. Because my question is, I want to write, uh, use uh, AB and AD for all vectors. So the first one was AC, right? Now let's do another one here, B. Okay, let's say AM. Well, AM, can you see, is a half AB. Can you visualize that? Can you see that, Go, yeah? Which is zero. zero ADs plus one half, I should have said, sorry, one half AB. So this vector AM is no ADs and a half of AB. Okay? C. AN well, you could say AN is AB plus BN. Yeah. AB is AB and BN is a half BC. What's uh, BC the same as? Well, BC is the same as AD. Yeah. So the answer here is a half AD plus. Now, Summer, why are you late? I saw your own email. Did you? Yeah. Oh, I didn't check my emails. Plus one AB. Now, before I do the last one, I just want to give you one to try. So can you guys try the last one, which is MN? See if you can figure that one out. That one's a little, a little tricky. MN. Do number one as an example on um, Euclid. Yeah, I, I just do a number one. You think you got it, Gal? What did you get? 
Yeah, I think it's a half and a half, isn't it? So M N is the same as M B plus B N. But M B is the same as A M. And B N is the same as a half B C. A M is the same as a half A B plus a half. And B C is the same as A D. So the answer is a half AD plus a half AB. So we just use M is equal half AC. And we have the first question. Use which one? Uh, M N equal half AC. M N. I guess so, if you know that it, it is the same and it's a half, but yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. That's fine. So I don't care about the mm, district. About the what? About the I and I. The because distance? The, a half AB plus a half AD. Yeah. I thought it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, I'll do one more example. I'll do number four as another example. Can I scroll down? Yeah. Okay. So can you see in the picture? You have. The vector xc, so if I just draw that there, so there's uh, x, there's c, there's d, there's a, and there's b. The vector xc is the same length as xd. So what I'm saying is this and this are the same length. The vector xa is four times the length of xd. So this side is four times bigger than this one here. The vector xb is three times bigger than this side, xc. Okay, first question. Find ax in terms of ad. Okay, so ax ax my question is is how much of ad four, four, five, not quite four four five yeah four over five ax <coughs> no no that's not right oh no that is right yes yeah, sorry yeah uh a to x is four fifths the distance from a to do. Okay. B. What about Bx now? Well, you could say Bx is three quarters B to C. Okay, fine. C. Uh, AD. What could you say? Uh, AD. AD. In terms of AX. Yeah, okay. AD in terms of AX. Five over five. Very good. Five over four AX. Okay, D. BC in terms of BX. Four, three. four over three BX. Okay. Uh, and lastly, a, B. Uh, so, in terms of A, D or B, C. So, in terms of the two big vectors here, these two. Okay, so let's think about this. A, B. You could say A, B is A, X plus X, B. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we want it in terms of AD, where's AD, there it is there, and 
BC. Where is BC? There it is. Okay, well, let's just do AX first. So AX is 4 fifths AD plus XB. Okay, we're happy with that one that has AD in it. We're not happy with XB. We need to change XB. Where is it? Three quarters. Ah, well, she has to be X. So what you could do, if you look at the picture, you can see that XB is the same as minus BX. Because the only difference is they're opposite. So you could change this into four fifths AD minus BX. Yeah? Now BX we can say is What do we say? Three quarters BC. So actually, just to be clear, I used a rule here that I didn't tell you. Well, AB is the same as minus BA. This is one of the rules here. Okay. And also, I suppose, yeah. No, that's actually okay because the next lesson will have more. Uh, okay, so that's not too bad. Yeah. So I've done actually question one and four. So what's left to do is two, three, and five. Two is easy. Three and five, eh, they're a little hard. See if you can do them. <laughs> 